One of the disconcerting realizations that comes with this model of the human person, right? This appreciation that, that you are centered in your loves and longings is the realization that those loves and longings are shaped at a very often unconscious level, right? You don't even realize all of the ways that you're being immersed in rituals that are heart shaping and love forming. So, uh, for example, how does somebody become a consumerist, right? How, how do people end up sort of living in ways as if they think stuff will make them happy? How does their heart get oriented in that way? It's not because somebody gave them an argument. It's not because somebody convinced them intellectually that this is a good idea. It's because over time, they've been immersed in rhythms and rituals and liturgies, you might say, that have kind of trained their hearts to love a certain vision of the good life, a certain picture of what they think flourishing is. They've been, they've been immersed in the rituals of the mall. They've been hooked by the evangelistic stories of marketing. They've been sort of captivated by the powerful pictures of how having new things seems to come with this glitz and glitz that looks so powerful. And over time, those realities start to seep in. And before you realize it, you're somebody who thinks stuff makes you happy. Mm -hmm.